Doc from stogiefresh.com and I'm back again with another video. This time I'm going to do a video that's a little bit different than the ones I've been doing on cigars. And This video I want to show you uh, my pipe collection because as a pipe smoker and a cigar smoker I find that the two complement each other quite a bit. But anyway, this time I'm going to share a little bit about some of the pipes I have and I don't have too many so this shouldn't take too long. But this pipe right here is a Mastro de Paya and it's a rusticated pipe and this is the first pipe that I owned myself. Uh, this is the first pipe that I bought and um, frankly I don't smoke it that much because I don't think it's all that good of a smoker but I'm keeping it because it was my first and a uh, uh, pipe that I ever purchased. So there you have it. The second pipe I'd like to share with you is made by Savinelli and this is a Savinelli Milano handmade and this pipe was given to me by a good friend of mine who works for Savinelli, Stephen Isidron. Stephen is a national sales director for Savinelli Cigars. Stephen gave me this uh, Milano handmade pipe so this is really uh, a nice pipe and uh, thanks to Stephen for that one. The next pipe that I got here is also a Savinelli, and this is a Savinelli Punto Oro with an amber grain. Now this is a really old pipe, even though they've been making this style of pipe for a long time. And, uh, th this particular one is very old, and I found this in a c cigar and pipe shop in Carmel, California, and it had been sitting there since the 1970s, and I think I paid about $69 for this pipe, uh, which was a, a, a very good deal because this pipe is a really good smoking pipe, and it's an unusual shape, and it has a, a very small bowl, and I tend to, to smoke my flake tobaccos in this bowl because it's smaller. And if I don't have a lot of time for a smoke, I oftentimes smoke this pipe as well because it's, uh, it makes for the shorter bowl makes for the shorter smoke. I bought this in Washington, and it's a Bjarn pipe, handmade in Denmark. It is sandblasted. I don't really know much about Bjarn pipes, and I didn't then, and I don't now. And this particular pipe, I, there was just something about this pipe. You know, I was looking at all these different pipes, and I kept coming back to this one. And the reason I kept coming back is just the way it felt in my hand. It felt like it was made for my hand. This pipe had my name written all over it and I just couldn't leave that pipe shop without this pipe so and it's a good smoking pipe too so really like that one Bjarn. The next pipe here this is my only estate pipe that I have and an estate pipe is one that has been owned by someone else then it has been uh, received back in, into a retailer a tobacconist who uh, cleans, sterilizes it, refurbishes it, the whole thing, and resells it so that you can get a uh, sometimes very expensive pipe for a, a lot less. Well, this pipe is a, a Don Carlos Smooth Bent Dublin, and it's got a really nice grain to it, uh, and it is one of those pipes, this is probably the pipe that, that has the most sharply uh, curved stem of any of the ones that I have. But the thing about these bent pipes is that they're comfortable because when you put them in your mouth they kind of hang down and they don't they're not as hard to hold in your mouth. I mean if you have a pipe like this that is straighter it just seems like your jaw is taking more of the weight whereas when it hangs down like this it's just so much more comfortable that um, this uh, pipe, besides being a good smoking pipe, is a comfortable pipe to keep in your mouth like that. So uh, I do like this pipe and that is my only estate pipe. The next pipe is the heaviest pipe that I own and I commissioned uh, a gentleman by the name of David Jones who lives in Texas, Texarkana, Texas, I believe. This particular pipe, I wanted it to be smooth, so he had to wait until he came across 
a block of briar that was good enough quality to actually do a smooth uh, finish. And this does have a couple of minor defects in it, but I don't really care. It was a reasonably priced pipe. It smokes good. It's got a pretty big bowl. It's got one of the bigger bowls of, um, of the pipes that I have, and it's heavy. But it still, it feels solid, and it feels really good in my hand. And um, I, I was happy having this uh, pipe made by David Jones. So, really nice. Another type of pipe, and, and I don't know if you've ever heard of these, these are Kirsten pipes. Kirsten pipes have been around for an awful long time, and they are billed as being the coolest pipe in the world. And that is, they're supposedly smoke very, very cool. I have smoked this one a few times, and the whole system behind it is related to this cast aluminum shaft that when you draw into this, it's got a little collection chamber in the very back end, and a lot of the, uh, you know, spit and mucus and, you know, all the other stuff that slimes around in your uh, pipe never makes it up to your mouth so that you can get a hot smoke. What it does is it falls down and it collects in this little collection chamber in the back. So this whole pipe actually comes apart. I mean, the, um, the, uh, uh, thing breaks down into about four different pieces. The bowls, you can get briar bowls, you can get meerschaum bowls, and all the bowls are interchangeable. You just screw them off and screw another one on so that you can buy multiple bowls for each of the pipes that you have. You can take these pipes apart, clean them, and um, they definitely do smoke cool. It's very modernistic and kind of a stylistic uh, kind of a pipe, but like I said, some traditionalists don't seem to like these very much. Here's another pipe that I have, and, and this is a Dunhill pipe with a military bit here uh, so that you can actually break these apart while they're still warm. In any case, this is a great travel pipe for that reason, and it has got a, a smaller bowl, but uh, this Dunhill smokes superbly, and uh, like I said, it breaks down, it's a small, and it has a small bowl, and I, I take it with me um, most of the time when I travel. And last but not least is this churchwarden pipe. This churchwarden pipe was custom made for me by Jonathan Drake of Pipes by Design. Jonathan did a fantastic job on this pipe, which has a Lord of the Rings theme to it. And I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan. And what I did after seeing some of Jonathan's other works is I commissioned him to do a Ring of Bear here uh, pipe. And I sent him a picture of the Ring of Bear Hair. And the Ring of Bear Hair is the ring that's worn by Aragorn in the Lord of the Rings movies. So he, from that picture, he drew a design concept. And besides the Ring of Bear Hair, which is up around the top, he has uh, the roots of the Ents. And I tell you what, from the very first smoke, this has been one of my favorite, and still is, one of my favorite smoking pipes Things smoke so cool, it smokes so great all the time, but it's just a, a, just a great pipe. So, so that's it. I mean, that's my pipe collection. And it's, a, it's not a big one, but sh for me, it's probably a lot more pipes than I really need. So, um, thanks again for joining in. I'll see you again next time. <laughs>